Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for today's look. This is my no makeup makeup look. My more natural, glowy, dewy summer makeup look. That seems like a really long title. This is a look I like to do when I do want to put makeup on but not spend a ton of time doing it or I know I'm going to be outside in the heat of summer. It's like I don't want a lot of makeup on because I know I'm gonna look like I'm melting in the heat and the last thing you want to look like is that your makeup is just sweating off of your face and still have my freckles showing through because I see so many youtubers and people doing faux freckles like I see you I see you guys want these freckles I see you and what's funny is like when I put makeup on, a lot of the times I'm covering up my freckles on my face and it's just so funny. Like I wanna get rid of my freckles and cover them up and I don't like them. Whereas like other people are like, I love your freckles, they're so beautiful and I love your pale skin. And then here I am like self tanning and covering up my freckles. So if you wanna see how I did this look, then please keep watching. So as you can tell, if you've been watching my videos, I am not tan anymore, fake tan. I do not have a tan on right now. I am back to my pale ass self and it kind of feels good. It kind of feels good to be a little more pasty, but I will be self tanning because I am going to Chicago next week. And then I will be going to Vegas like two or three weeks after that. So I'm gonna have to get my spray tan back on, okay? Don't judge me. My lips are so chapped. It is like the desert, it is bad so bad okay so to start off this look i've already washed my face i just use an olay cream cleanser nothing special there and i also use an olay moisturizer so for this type of look i like to use two different primers actually you know what i'm gonna stick with one we're gonna do one because this one actually keeps me pretty matte this is the makeup forever step one smoothing primer and I like to just basically keep this in my T-zone, which is where obviously I get the most oily. I think that's where everybody gets mostly oily is the size of their nose or chin and their forehead. But what's nice about this too is if you have any texture and even larger pores, I think it helps minimize the pores and um, takes down the texture and makes things look smoother, hence why it's called the smoothing primer. This is one of my favorite primers, kicking an old school man. This is an oldie but a goodie. For foundation today, if you're oily, be careful with this. The goal for me uh, when it comes to, the, to this look and using this foundation is using a very minimal amount. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now, the Pro Matte works amazing and great, but I find that if I do use just a tad bit of this, it gives me that beautiful, radiant, glowy skin that I'm going for, even though I do use powder. It's weird. It's it's weird to like explain it or whatever, but it works for me. It might not work for everybody, but typically if you're oily, this, is, this would be a foundation to like not use and stay away from. But if you want the type of makeup look that I'm going for today, which is um, bare minimum, you know what I mean? Like a no makeup makeup look, a summer glow, if you will. This foundation works great. Just use the littlest amount though. You can still see all of my freckles, still see my skin. Um, it just kind of gave me an all over, just nice complexion, smoothed out the skin, just looks really nice on the skin, makes me look healthy. Like I've been, you know, drinking my water and eating healthy. Like it just gives that nice glow and radiance to the skin, which is what I'm going for here. For concealer today, I'm gonna to use the NYX HD Photogenic, Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade CW02 in the foundation I used 201. 
um, which is the lightest foundation, but it does work for me. And I'm just basically, I'm not gonna go crazy with the concealer, because like I said, this is just a more natural, healthy, dewy, summer type of look here. So I have been having my breakouts in my normal chin area. The reds are in, you know, coming in town. Ant flow, you know what I'm saying? So I just like to take a little bit of that concealer and just focus it on my problem areas. Just right on the breakout, you know, anywhere that needs a little loving, which is right here as well. And I'm not going crazy with it. I don't wanna go crazy with the concealer. And what I like to do is just take my finger and just tap in that concealer just to blend it. Sometimes if you add too much makeup over a breakout, it actually just like enhances it and makes it look worse or dries it out. So if you're gonna use makeup over your breakout, kinda try and steer toward, at least what I like to do, is steer toward a more hydrating concealer. I don't have any in my shade right now, actually. There's different concealers I'd probably choose over this. But for this tutorial, it'll work. I would just, I mean, like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And I like to go in with the Beauty Blender and just tap over it a little bit. and it just helps to blend it in. Now, as of right now, you can still kind of see it, but I will be able to do more with it once I get to my powder foundation in a second. But I am gonna put some under my eyes, not a lot, just enough to make me look like I've been getting my eight hours of sleep a night, you know? I'm using very light pressure just to make sure I can get the coverage so that the Beauty Blender doesn't soak up all that concealer, you know what I mean? After my concealer is blended in, I'm gonna go in and set underneath my eyes with the Maybelline Master Fix Powder. Now this powder does have flashback, so if you're wanting to do um, any flash photography or take pictures, uh, this might not be the powder for you, but I like to use this powder and then put another powder over it and I feel like that helps with the flashback and doesn't happen as much. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I just take a little bit, just, just a tad, not much, and just put that underneath of the eyes just to set that concealer so that it does not crease on us. Now for a little more coverage, but nothing too crazy. This will help with keeping my face more on the matte side, but still keeping me dewy at the same time. It's hard to explain because of the look I'm going for, but I feel like this really helps in the summertime, and this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This is basically just gonna set the rest of my face, but also help keep my oil at bay. Because I did use the Pro Glow, and I do have oily skin, it's inevitable. I'm gonna get oily, and I'm going to get that dewy look no matter what I do. But like I said, it'll look more dewy than greasy and oily when I do it this way. So I just take some of the powder, not a lot, not a lot, because I still want my natural skin to show. I still want the freckles to show through. I just start like in the natural contour of my cheek and then feather it out because if I get a lot of that powder more in the contour of my cheek and then blend it out, it's not going to take away from the look. So if I have a majority of the powder in the contour of my cheek, it'll just enhance my natural contour um, a little bit more. So I start in the hollows of my cheeks and then feather it out. But this is just setting the rest of my face. And this will give me a little more coverage on my breakout. And this is what I mean by putting a little more of a powder over that um, Maybelline Master Fix so that I don't get as much 
flash um, when, when I take pictures because of that powder. And like I said, I mean, I'm barely putting my brush in that MAC Studio Fix powder. Now, so I don't look so much like a ghost, I'm going to take my, uh, what is this? My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium. This is one of my favorite bronzers. And just contour a little bit. I just wanna bring some color back to my face so that I don't look so ghostly and pasty and pale. We wanna look a little bit like, you know, we go in the sun, but we really don't, but we look like we do, you know what I mean? I actually just sometimes bring it right here into my eye, like at the top of my eye, top of my eye, like in the crease of my eye as my eyeshadow, just so everything kind of comes together instead of like going in with a different color eyeshadow, I just take it right into my crease and basically into my brow bone. And then to kind of tone it down a little bit, I go back in with my stippling brush and just blend a lot of it so that it looks more natural instead of looking like, you know, I really took the time to contour my face. For blush today, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Color Wheel palette and I'm gonna take a really just girly, pinky blush, nothing, you know, I, I just want to look, like I said, that. I have natural flush to my cheeks. Like I, I, I have natural redness to my face just because I am so pale. Um, so doing this, it just kind of brings back not only the color, but I like to give myself that more natural looking blush to my face um, or as natural as I can get. And I mean, you're gonna know I'm wearing blush, but it's just kind of going with the theme and keeping it more on the natural side. Um, so I am going to take this really pretty pink here, it's called Sorrel, and just kind of keep it um, a little toned down, but enough to flush me up. Once I add the highlight, it'll kind of tone it down anyway, but I don't get really precise with it. I just kind of um, fluff it all around my cheek area. I also take it up on my forehead. Just like the natural places kind of that the sun will hit, I even like to take it on my nose. I always saw my mom doing this growing up, which is so funny now because I see a lot of people doing it. And I was I was always like, why are you putting that on your nose? She's like, it, it's like what the sun would naturally do to your face. And I never understood it growing up. And now I find myself putting blush on my nose all the time. I'm just gonna take my stippling brush again and blend it out. For highlight, this is the star of the show, right? This is, where did it go? Oh. This is what's gonna give us that really healthy, glowy, dewy summer look. And I'm gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in Pearl. This is a beautiful white shimmer shade for us ghosts out there who want to shine bright like a diamond. And I'm gonna take my Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush and put this to work on the highest parts of my face, my cheekbones, a little bit above my eyebrow, my nose, Cupid's bow, just a little bit. And a dab on my chin. For setting spray, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray just to set my face and get rid of the powdery look. Maybe. Ah. Sometimes I like to tape, tape, take my damp beauty blender and just pounce over that highlight. This will make it more like sink into the skin and make it look 
more natural instead of it just sitting on the top of your skin. This will kind of blend it into your skin and make you look like you're glowing from within. Instead of using falsies, which I use falsies almost every time I do my makeup, I'm actually not because I want to keep this more natural. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes and pop on a different mascara today. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic. This works for me when I want to do a more natural look and not wear false lashes. I have to curl my lashes like three or four times uh, because I have the most stubby little lashes and they're stubborn. So, and sometimes I'll even take my um, blow dryer and get this a little warm so that it kind of has the same concept as like curling your hair. Do the same to your lashes, it's, it's hair, you know what I mean? So it helps them stay curled longer. As for my brows, now, I think my least favorite thing to do are my brows and I don't have the best natural brows. I have been letting them grow and have not been tweezing them like crazy. So they're getting a little bit better. And then when I get my hair done and dyed because I'm not a natural redhead, sorry to burst your bubble, but I will also get my brows colored as well. It probably isn't the safest thing to do in the world, but it's never hurt me. Um, I've never had a problem. I've been doing it for years and years and years. So sometimes they're like super bright because I just got my, my hair done as well, but they fade a lot quicker on my eyebrows because I'm constantly washing my face. So when I get that done, I feel like I don't have to fill in my brows as much. But when it comes to my brows, even though I have I don't have the best natural brows. Um, I will still fill them in, but I won't go as crazy. If I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I like to keep them more on the natural side, but just fill them in where needed. And it also saves time because I'm not sitting here for 15 minutes filling in my brows. Just fill in where I need to and move along. And then I just set them with some clear brow gel and I really try to push my hairs up. It just gives them more natural appearance because your natural brows, natural brows, your natural hair is showing, you know what I mean? So I really try and brush them high, make sure you can see them over, you know, any product. I'm gonna go back in with my Becca highlight and pearl and take this on my brow bone just to give it a little pop. Then I like to take a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes. For lips, honestly, all I do is pop some lip gloss on or some chapstick. I might blind them. This is the NYX lip pencil in nude pink. Then I'm just gonna pop some lip gloss on. This is the Gerard Cosmetics uh, lip gloss in Shimmer of Hope. This is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. I personally love doing this um, on a day where I do wear makeup to work or um, I know it's gonna be 110 degrees out and I don't want a full cake face of makeup. I know it's crazy for me to say that, it's a little weird. But when I don't want to look like I'm legit melting, this is a good option for me. I'm so used to like full glam and a ton of makeup on my face. This is just nice to be like bare minimum. Enhance my natural beauty or my natural features. There was several steps and somewhat of a lot of products used. I never said this is like a simple, fast, um, Look, I just, this is like my no makeup makeup or a very minimum um, summer dewy glowy look. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.